With many months of booming medical marijuana sales in Missouri and thousands of workers flocking to the industry, St. Louis University identified a need for educating a rapidly growing workforce. This trio is getting the word out about cannabis education at St. Louis University, how it's helping people get jobs and changing lives. Well, the class that I teach is cannabis pharmacology. I'm a naturopathic doctor. I'm also adjunct professor, general manager of a cannabis dispensary. So just learning in an open setting is helping to reduce the stigma. One of the reasons this plant is, is still kind of in the shadows is just because we don't know it. It has not been available to study it in a science format because it's been illegal. So just learning that there is a program that's offering very extensive training now is a way to release the stigma. SLU School of Professional Studies is offering a one-year Cannabis Science and Operations Certificate program with courses to be taken online for anyone interested. Jeff Rouse is one of the first students to receive a certificate. And in this series of videos, I'll provide some tools that will help you function better as a team member within your dispensary. He's now thriving in the business, building a name for himself at the Field State Cannabis Dispensary in Florissant. He says he's helping people here, and he's growing an online audience and building connections throughout the industry through his show called The Feels. Welcome to The Feels here live at Field State in Florissant, Missouri. It, it's because of the class. It's because of the program. It opened doors for me I never would have been able to open for myself. That's the goal. Stacy Godlewski is the Director of Cannabis Science and Operations at the School of Professional Studies at St. Louis University. Legalized cannabis is expected to be an estimated $150 billion industry within the next three years. As medical and recreational marijuana continue to be legalized in additional states and a possibility of full legalization of marijuana in Missouri's future, Godlewski believes the program is needed. I want people who are passionate about medical cannabis and helping people get better, helping them move away from opioids. Um, people who want to help their mom, their dad, their uncle, themselves. Uh, but people who want to legitimize this industry is who I want in my program because that's what we're doing. SLU's Cannabis Science and Operations Undergraduate Certificate is for people wanting to learn about the business side of things and the science. The science and the operations, so the fundamentals of cannabis, extraction, cultivation, pharmacological properties of medical cannabis, and then compliance and dispensing. For Rouse, it prepared him to take a leadership role. It's because of the knowledge that I'm able to present to patients on the sales floor. I just seem to be the go-to guy in the dispensary whenever there's a cannabis question about anything. They come to me. And SLU offers a medical cannabis science and therapeutic management graduate certificate. We have a focus and a need for doctors, nurses, educators, law enforcement, social workers in the medical cannabis science and uh, therapeutic management program. Uh, folks who work with people who self-medicate with medical cannabis on a daily basis for whatever their ailment may be so that they can teach those folks about the therapeutic benefits. There's a need for the doctors and nurses to understand the synergies between medical cannabis, CBD, and any medications they're on. It's important because it is now medical in the state, any state where you have medical cannabis, I think it's important for doctors to at least learn and understand the inner workings and the possibility of how this can be a great assistant to patients. And learning does not necessarily mean that the doctor becomes an advocate. So I'm also understanding of a doctor saying I don't support it, but if they learn more about it, then they can make an informed choice as opposed to just negating it because the information is, is lacking. And Godlewski says, by having an educational program they can offer to many different people, St. Louis University is fulfilling its Jesuit mission. Are we giving good research? Are we having the industry experts teach that rigorous curriculum? Um, another part of the Jesuit mission is making education widely available to everybody, not just folks who can afford it. 